Valid Intersections is an application featured in Oracle's Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service, which allows users to classify intersections between dimensions as either valid or invalid. From this classification, users are able to populate forms and reports, prevent incorrect runtime prompt selections, as well as restrict access to data and calculations by restricting access to and suppressing the invalid intersections. To access a valid intersection in PBCS, simply select the Valid Intersections application in the Navigator. To create a valid intersection, press the Create button and give your valid intersection a name. Next, you will need to assign an anchor dimension. This is the dimension that the valid intersections definition is anchored to, as you are defining which members in the associated dimensions are valid with that anchor member or members. In this example, a common choice, we set the anchor dimension to be Entity. Next, click the Add Dimension button to add an associated dimension to your valid intersection. With Entity, we want to assign a valid region to the entity, so that when we reference all regions but suppress invalid intersections, we will only see the correct regions for the entities in question. Next, valid intersection rules will need to be added. Add your first rule by clicking the Add Rule button. This is where we select our anchor entity and the associated valid intersections members. To select an intersection member or members, select the down arrow next to the text box or type in the exact member name or alias. Once you select the down arrow, you can edit an existing rule or go directly to member selection. In addition to the robust member selection interface, which includes selection functions such as level zero descendants or ancestors, users could also select attributes or substitution variables for a particular dimension. Simply select the down arrow next to member at the bottom of the page and choose an attribute or variables. The next step in setting up your valid intersection rules would be to add any exclusions you may require. To add an exclusion, select the down arrow next to the text box and click Add Exclusion. You can select a member to exclude from your selection or choose a list of members. You can delete the exclusion through the same menu, but rather than Add Exclusion, it will read Remove Exclusion. Now that our valid intersections are set up, we are ready to test out the suppression of invalid intersections. In a popular example, you can see in this form that we reference the particular entity we want to see, but level zero descendants for the associated dimensions. When we choose the suppress invalid rows or columns option in the form setup, only the valid intersections will populate the form. Therefore, users don't need to cherry pick the intersection for their entity, but rather set up one valid intersection rule. Additionally, as previously stated, runtime prompt selections are restricted by valid intersections, so an invalid selection will not be set while launching a business rule. Lastly, once a valid intersection is set up, users will be restricted in accessing, altering, and calculating data at that intersection. Through an ad hoc analysis, valid intersections will appear yellow as level 0 and editable, while invalid intersections will appear as gray. Any submission of changed data at these intersections will be reverted if the intersection is not valid. This is a good way to allow level 0 change access with certain members, but not others.